say I'm 322 pounds. I'd say 200 pounds of that is probably cheesesteak. Again, it all falls into creating. Right. It all, it all, it's the same satisfaction. I look in your face when you eat that, and you give me that smile as if I do a good performance on, on, on film, or I, I write a, a great song that you listen, and you go, oh, man, that really touched me. Same thing, it's about connecting with people. This was my father's idea in 1992, to open up a sandwich shop and make sandwiches like we used to. Well, my two sons, Tony Jr. and Nicholas, they were, uh, we started together, it was the three of us, and we started across the street, and uh, we were just hoping that uh, it would be something that we can do and make a living out of it for the three of us. Philadelphia is a close-knit neighborhood type city where uh, people band together in neighborhoods and enjoy things, help people out. That, that, that's a lot different. It's a big city, but with a small city atmosphere. We just tried to make a great sandwich. And then little by little, word of mouth started to go, a little more, a little more, a little more. And we had 10 customers, then 20 customers, then six. And then pretty soon, three, four years later, people were comparing us with the, the almighty three, which was Pat's, Geno's, and Jim's. It was the, it was the pyramid. It was like <laughs> nobody, nobody got into that. Right. And then in like five years, we were considered one of the four. And that's, what you and that's all we did. It's all we did. We never focused on competing with anyone. The product. Product. Now flip that. Now flip it. Keep flipping. My father instilled in us, if you ain't going to eat it, if you wouldn't eat that, don't serve it. You know, and take pride in every single sandwich that goes out the door. Every one. Every one. No matter who you, it doesn't matter who you're serving. Every single sandwich gets the best that you can give it. And he instilled that in us from when we were kids. And a good cheesesteak, you see people smiling and laughing, and it's like party atmosphere when they sit down to eat. And that's, that's basically what we're looking for. You know, your passion, if you weren't making a cheesesteak, you know, what might you be doing? Probably a stripper. I'd be a <laughs> male stripper, yeah. Well, I mean, I have the physique. <laughs> Most people that say, you know, a cheesesteak, it's got to be the roll, it's got to be the meat. So you're saying we uh, the fried onions. No, what I'm saying is it is the roll and it is the meat. It's when you find that perfect combination is when the magic happens. Right. So the story goes, no one really knows what will be. What do I say? Hi, I'm Tony Luke Jr., co-owner of Tony Luke's Old Philly Style Sandwiches, and this is my cheesesteak.